Solar cars rely on photovoltaic cells to convert sunlight into electricity. When photons from sunlight hit the cells, they excite electrons and cause them to flow, which creates an electrical current. PV cells are made of semiconductor materials. Silicone is the most commonly used material. One of the main reasons as to why solar cars are not ready for daily use is because of their lack of efficiency. The best current solar cells only convert less than 30% of the energy received into electricity to move the wheels of the vehicle. That means that the solar panels on the cars require a lot of space to ensure that there's enough energy being collected and generated for the car to be able to go at decent speed. Therefore, solar cars only have room for one individual at a time, and even then, the sitting room is cramped and small. As a result, solar cars lack features that regular cars will commonly have, such as a radio, air conditioning, heating, and trunk space. The following interview on solar cars is with Mario, who attends an engineering school in Montreal. We're here with Mario from ETS, which is the École Technologie Supérieure of yeah. Montreal. It's an engineering school where they're working on a project for a solar-powered car. How does solar power work? The car gets its power from the sun. The light hits the solar cells and convert it in electricity. So these are the solar power cells on the top here, right? It is correct. These are used to convert the light to electricity. How much would one of these solar panels cost? For the, the entire car, it will be a... Uh, 0.7 million dollars. 700 thousand dollars, that's yeah. what you uh, just heard. How far can this car go? It can go uh, 3,000 kilometers. Okay, that's a little bit farther than my Honda. How fast can it go? 120 kilometer per hour. Oh, okay. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Mario. Thank you. Although we do not see solar cars driving around every day in the streets yet because of how inefficient they are, there are solar races that take place. Solar car racing was pioneered in 1983 in Australia by Hans Thrallstrup and Larry Perkins. In 1987, the Australian World Solar Challenge had 23 participants and helped ignite a string of solar car races and it increased its popularity. The World Solar Challenge is the most well-known solar car race that is held every year in Australia. Here's a short clip that describes the World Solar Challenge. The World Challenge Solar Challenge not only provides one of the world's great scientific adventures, it also presents one of the world's most imposing challenges. The challenge to design and build a car that is capable of crossing the vast and imposing Australian continent using only daylight for fuel. Departing the balmy tropical streets of Darwin, the World Solar Challenge will head off on its mighty trek across the vast and taxing Australian outback. Its destination, the South Australian capital, Adelaide, some 3,000 kilometres to the south. The rules are simple. The solar-powered cars are only allowed to commence the challenge with no more than a nominal 5 kilowatt hours of stored energy. The only fuel they are allowed to access is solar radiation. As morning breaks, the team set off again under the strengthening Central Australian sun. The basic ingredients for this challenge are simple. The vehicles must be roadworthy, be able to average a minimum speed of 40 kilometers per hour, and be managed by a crew that possesses plenty of enthusiasm. Why are solar cars so important? They provide an alternative to gasoline, are helpful to the environment, and make use of the sun's full potential. In this day and age, with gas prices so high, it's important for individuals to find a way to fuel their vehicles with something other than gasoline. Solar cars can be the next great alternative.